So this one, I actually found money in the pocket. Hey guys, welcome back to Tay Deco. My name's Taylor. I'm a part-time Poshmark reseller, and today's video is gonna be a large, massive thrift haul from the Goodwill bins, also known as the Goodwill outlets. That's where you pay by the pound. A lot of these items I got for around a dollar to a two dollars a piece, I would say. So let's just say the average cost of goods was around a dollar fifty. Also, this was about three trips to the bins, and I spent probably like an hour and a half to two hours on average each trip. So that is about five to six hours maybe I spent. So that's sifting through a lot of items, trying to find what to get. Some days were not so good, some days were better than others, so it was a lot of work, but I definitely think I made a good haul and I'm able to make a lot of money on these items. I feel so tired. I was up all night binge watching one day on Netflix. It's so cute. I highly recommend it if you guys are looking for a new show to watch. But okay, I have a lot to get into. You can see behind me, there's so many items that we have to go through, so let's get into this haul. Okay, so the first item, so the first item I have is this Free People Movement hoodie. And it was actually new with tags. So that was pretty exciting to find in the bins. It retailed for $78. It's a size extra large. Next, this is more of just like a basic piece. I just kind of threw it in my cart. It's in great condition. It's Talbot, so kind of a, a bread and butter brand, but the material felt so soft and it had these big buttons, so I felt I could make some money off of this eventually. Size large. Okay, this was a style-based pickup, so I know that these like American flag knit sweaters can do pretty well. This is vintage. The brand says American Outpost. The, the size tag is ripped out, but I'll just have to model it or take measurements super cute it's in great condition next this is a, another like vintage piece so the brand says cliff angle sweaters and then it also says 1984 so this is an 80s piece um i looked up this brand and there were a lot more notable sports teams so like there was one that said like Notre Dame and like NFL teams that are more known <laughs> but this one just says Gators which is actually like a local college in the Pittsburgh area so it's not I don't think this is worth as much as like the more known sports teams would be but I just thought the look of it was cool and it was in great condition it does need to be shaved a little bit since there's some pilling but I think this was just a cute, like, style-based pickup. Okay, next I have this Lauren by Ralph Lauren dress. And this is a silk, cotton, and wool blend dress. And it kind of has this equestrian novelty-type print on it. Super cute. I really like picking up Lauren Ralph Lauren as long as the piece is substantial, like a big sweater with like good um, fabric or a coat or, you know, dresses. I feel like they do well and I like selling the brand because I know that it's made well. So yeah, I feel like this will sell eventually. It's a pretty nice piece. Okay, this one, just a basic, it definitely needs to be lint rolled, but it's just a, a pullover sweatshirt, crew neck by Adidas, so. Okay, these are Nike cargo camo pants um, or joggers. Nike is one of my top selling brands because I kind of just pick it up whenever I see it, if it's in good condition and something that's like kind of substantial and it always just sells. It's a very consistent brand. So I just pick it up, but I think these will do well. Okay. 
Okay, this is another style-based pickup. So this is vintage Eddie Bauer, and it's actually 100% wool. So these are all words that keywords that I can use. Um, I also am gonna use keywords like patchwork, grandpa, grandpa core. This is a woman's me petite medium, and there's like a little golfer on the tag, so I'll use the keyword like golf. Um, but it's in excellent condition. Since it's wool, I definitely like checked it over high and low to make sure there wasn't any holes and there's not. So I think this will do, this is a cute piece and I think that this will do well. Okay, this is another style based pickup. I just thought these shorts were so fun. They're definitely from like the 80s or 90s. The tag says Valerie Lynn Designer Artwear. And they just have like this, it looks like it was painted on these little sailboats. So I'll probably use keywords like artsy, art, um, painted, colorful, spring, summer. Okay, I don't know if this was the best pickup, but it's free people, so I can never, like, not pick it up at the bins. Um, it's just, it's kind of a dated piece, like a more older piece, but it's just this, like, swing sweater. Definitely a bit oversized, so I think it'll sell eventually. Okay, this is 100% cashmere, so I always pick up cashmere pieces no matter the brand at the bins as long as there's obviously no holes and it's in great condition. This brand is called, it's Rachel Zoe, and the cashmere is pretty thick, so that was nice. Um, and yeah, it's in great condition, very soft. There's just a few little pills, but I mean, it looks like this was just worn like maybe one time. Okay, next I have Athleta, so this swim top. Um, I know people really like the swim by Athleta, and since this was just black and it had the underwire, like it just seemed like a good size, which is a 36D, double D. Um, just picked that up, threw it in my cart. Next. This is Zenergy by Chico's, and these are just a cargo, like kind of a everyday pant, very lightweight, pretty basic, kind of a bread and butter item. Okay, here's some Lululemon pants. These are dated, so they're an older piece, but I still thought these were nice. Here's the logo. They're the wider, kind of a yoga leg pant. Um, I wouldn't pick these up and pay a lot for these in the store, but since they were just in the bins, I just threw them in my cart. So I definitely think they'll sell eventually. Might take a little bit of time, but. Okay, this is another style-based pickup. So this is Liz Sport, and this is 100% cotton. It has a lot of embroidery, which is, it just looks so pretty. I like the color, like this blue color. I think it's so cute. Um, size large. So I'll probably use keywords like cottage, cottage core, flowers, floral, embroidery. Um, I'll put this under the vintage category. Okay, next I picked this up off a of style and then I went and checked comps um, in the bins just to see what it was, but it's called Basta Per Studio Teca. If you can see that. And I just really like this lemon print. And when I looked it up, Basta was an Italian boutique and then Studio Teca was a different like fashion brand. So I think this was a collab that these two brands did together. And this was ver very lightweight, so this must have, this didn't weigh much at all. Okay, this was a good pickup. So this is Fear of God, 
And these are just a jogger sweatpant and they even have the logo here and then here on this rubber piece and then here's the logo or the here's the tag you can see that um these are in great condition they're gently used i would say and i think i'm gonna list these for about sixty dollars Okay, these, I was like, I looked at these and I was like, those can't be Burberry. They're probably like a knockoff, but nope, they were Burberry. You can see the tag. And then I know that these are authentic just because the button says Burberry. I could feel like the fabric, you can just feel the higher quality. Um, and they're just like these sleep pants. There is a small stain right there. It's just like a red mark looks like nail polish or something but it wasn't my nail polish it looks <laughs> it looks like it was mine but it's definitely not um but yeah these I think these will do good I haven't checked comps I just threw them in my cart because I knew I was like Burberry of course I'm just gonna throw them in okay next I got this for my husband he goes to the office three days a week so I just kind of picked these size large like nice sweaters up when I see them and I wash them and I just put them in his closet and then a few days later I'll just see him wearing it I'm like oh okay um but yeah that's just an Eddie Bauer okay this ended up being such a good piece so I always pick up these slip kind of dresses when I'm in the bins just because they weigh like nothing so I didn't check comps or anything but when I got home I did more research and checked comps and this brand, Olga, it's a vintage brand, it does really well. So people had this, here, let me show you that. Okay, there. Okay, so people had this listed for like 150, there was some 100s, there was a 200. These are just really nice nightgowns or lingerie. I used keywords like romantic, um, goth goth core I also modeled this piece because I wanted to like fill it out and show what it would look like and not just have it on the hanger so I'll insert some pictures of that but yeah I'm really excited for this okay next I have a puffer vest this is just Calvin Klein this isn't down or anything but I felt like since it was a substantial piece and a reputable brand, eventually that this will sell. Next, this, I'm assuming this was donated by the same person because it's the same kind of like um, Sherpa and then the vest. This one is down. So this is the older Athleta tag and there is, you can see some white fuzz throughout so I'll definitely have to list that flaw but overall I think this is a good piece um like I said I'll probably have to lower the price but okay next I found these two we the free tank tops and they're the same style just two different colors same size I was just gonna bundle these up and put them in one listing because you know summer and spring are coming so I feel like these will these will do well. Okay, another Athleta piece. And this is the newer label. And it says, the, these are the textured Brooklyn short and they're a size 14. Um, I know that the Brooklyn pant does really well with Athleta. So I'm excited to have these. They're in great condition. All right, this, this I picked up for my sister-in-law. Shout out, Carrie. Um, she loves to wear vintage, like, 80s pieces or 90s, like, with these colors and this kind of color blocking. So anytime I see something like that, I just kind of pick it up for her, and I put it aside in a pile, and then I gift it to her the next time I see her. But I just thought this was cute, and she'll like that, so... Okay, this was so adorable. 
So this is Ralph Lauren, the blue label, which is great. And this is just a little girl's like Christmas dress. And it looks like it's wool. The materials tag is missing and so is the size tag. So we'll definitely have to take measurements. Also, there was two buttons here, one here and then one here. The one is missing. So I'll probably have to have my mom put another button on, but these were doing really well. I was really surprised when I checked comps. There was a few that were listed for $100 in this kind of like um, holiday dress, like style, like sweater dress. So I was so pleasantly surprised when I got home and checked comps because I just kind of threw this in my cart just because it was that blue label Ralph Lauren. But when I got home, I was like, oh, this is this does better than I thought. Okay, next, I love this dress. It's so beautiful. There's so many beads. This is 100% silk, and it's this long maxi link dress. And I like the silhouette, like how it kind of goes in and then out. I don't know if you can tell. I think that looks so pretty. The brand is called Chandre or Chaudry. Let me show you. So that's the brand. And again, yeah, this is all silk. It's a size small. It's very heavy. I just feel like this is beautiful. I was so excited about this when I saw it. Okay, next I have a Peter Millar vest. And this this has definitely been used. There's a little bit of pilling. Um, I still picked it up just because it had this wind element for wind. So it's wind resistant. Um, Peter Millar does pretty well, especially like with the golf category. I don't know what this emblem is, this crest. I don't know if that's somebody's initials or if that was like a golf course or some kind of sponsor or something. But I'll just list it and see how it does. Okay, this I think is a stupid pickup. This is Matilda Jane, which isn't the worst brand. But these are just so basic. I just don't even think that these are going to... These are just going to sit forever unless somebody is really looking for a cropped, ruffle-hemmed legging basic. I mean, I don't know. I shouldn't have picked these up, but they're a size large. We'll see. Okay, next I have this Aloe Yoga hoodie, which is great. And it has this kind of like wider sleeve and a kind of a cropped style hoodie. Really cute cowl neck. So, and it also has the logo there. So yeah, I think that this will do well. Okay, next I have um, Harley Davidson and it has some embroidery here and it's just this black button down shirt. Nothing too special, but anytime I see Harley Davidson, I kind of just throw it in my car if, it, if I'm at the bins. I won't really pick it up and spend a lot at the regular Goodwill, but at the bins, I'll definitely just throw it in my cart. So this one, I actually found money in the pocket. It's this Lauren Ralph Lauren packable down feather longer line jacket and it comes with like the little baggie that you can put the the coat in um it's a petite large and i found 20 dollars in this coat so that was awesome um i found money one other time i found three one dollar bills in a pocket so this was my biggest cash out for free money so that was awesome but yeah i think this will do really well i mean this is just a great style, a substantial piece. So. Okay, this I picked up just based off of style. So it's just this long wool cashmere blend um, trench coat with the animal fur. And the, the brand, it's a vintage brand, Fashions by Jill, made in the USA. So I'll probably just model this and use a bunch of keywords and hopefully I can 
make a good amount of money off of that one. Okay, this one, I felt the fabric and I was like, wow, this is really like nice material. It's heavier. It's not like a cheap uh, raincoat material. And then I looked at the brand. You can see that. It's called Stutterheim and it's a Swedish brand. And I looked it up and these retailed for like $325 or something. Um, there is some like nicks and some stains that need to be wiped off. Um, there was like a dark stain right there. But once I get it like wiped down a little bit and in a little bit better condition, I think that this will do pretty well. Okay, next I have these Abercrombie and Fitch jeans or khaki pants. They have this paint splatter throughout and I was wondering if it was manufactured that way so I did look these up in the bins like when I was there and they were manufactured this way. So they actually have these still on the website for like $80. So they're a new style and they're in excellent condition so this was definitely a good pickup. Okay, next I have this Land's End pea coat, and this is in excellent condition. Um, I don't really pick up this brand a lot unless it's like a substantial piece and it has to be like literally in excellent condition. So this met those, that criteria, and yeah, I just think it's cute. It feels great. Um, let me see what the materials is. It's 51% wool and 49% rayon, so that's pretty good. A wool blend. Okay, next I have these Levi jeans. And they're not skinny leg. I, th I would say that these are, maybe they are. They're straight leg, but they don't have the style name or like the number here. There are some numbers that I can type in on the materials tag so I'll have to find out what style these are. They do have the button fly. So yeah I just kind of threw these in my cart. Okay next I have two more items. These are two more items that I got for my husband. They're both size large and they're just kind of the same style that he likes to wear to work. This one's Oscar de la Renta. And I liked that it had this like fluffier collar. And then this is just Polo Ralph Lauren. So again, I'm just gonna throw these in his closet. <laughs> I already washed them. Okay, this brand was a new to me brand. This is called, I'm not sure to pronounce that. Luca. It's a US size eight and this is 100% linen. This definitely has like a lag and look type style to it. It's um, it's like a midi length. No, actually, I would say it hits right above the, the ankle. So pretty cool piece. Um, I didn't do too much research on this. I just looked it up for a little bit. So we'll see how this does. Okay, next, I really don't pick up a lot of suits, but there was a set, like a matching set from Calvin Klein. So this was a size four, and then the pants I think were size six, yeah. But because they were the set, I did decide to pick them up. Um, I wouldn't have picked them up if they were just like individual pieces, but. So this stuff is like older, like my death pile kind of that I just haven't gone through. So I'm not going to share this with you, but I have another pile over here. So another thing I picked up were these L.L. Bean, um, I guess winter gloves. They're for kids. They're a size kids medium. And these are just in great condition. You can tell there's not a lot of wear. So I figured I'd just throw them in my cart and make a few bucks off those. This is Becca. 
And I was looking for the matching top. I couldn't find it. But this is Becca by B Rebecca Virtue. And this is a great swim brand. Here's the, the tag. Okay, so I was watching Mogi Beth like two days ago and she was actually like talking about her favorite swimwear brands and Becca was one of them and she, spe she specifically mentioned the crochet bathing suits. So I thought that was funny that I found it like the day that I went to the bins, I watched her talk about that that day. So I thought that was kind of funny. But yeah, this is really cute. I like the detail right here. I wish I could have found the top. But, you know, if, if, if these are just in the bins, I'm just going to throw them in the cart. Okay, next I have this Tommy Bahama sweater dress. And I don't ever pick up this brand. So it's just like kind of a midi length. Yeah. And I just thought this was a nice piece. I mean, again, bins prices figured I could make some money. It's an excellent condition. The fabric is great. Um, let's see what kind of material this is. It's 55 cotton vis viscose nylon spandex. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that does. Okay. Next I have this like shacket, like it's kind of puffy though, but it's, um, pack sun and Playboy. So they, there's a collab. And I know that these pieces can do pretty well, the Playboy Paxson ones. So you can see the bunny. There is some like fuzziness. So I'm going to run the um, sweater shaver over this. But yeah, I felt like this was a pretty substantial piece. Extra small, small. Geez, this definitely could fit a medium, I would say. But okay. Next, I have Blank NYC. This brand's okay. It retails for a lot, but I don't know. The resale value just isn't the best. But again, since I found this in the bins, I figured I'd just pick it up. It's just this cropped V-neck sweatshirt. So. Okay, next I have this low alpine zip up. It's like a kind of a half zip. And I never heard of this brand, but I saw this Polar Tech. So that tells me that this is good for like strong, like, you know, cold weather. And it said manufactured in Canada by Low Alpine. So I definitely wanted to look this up and it looks like the comps were good when I was in the store. I haven't listed it yet but I think that this will do really well. And I like that it has the logo there. Super cute. Okay, next I have this Christian Dior Monsieur. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And I think this is like a lower tier brand, the Monsieur. And this is definitely like from the 70s, 80s. It's just this little button down denim shirt. It has this kind of logo here. Um, so we'll see how this does. I don't have a lot of high hopes for this, but maybe it'll surprise me. I, I haven't looked it up yet. Okay, next I have this Garnet Hill long like midi or maxi length, kind of just a shirt dress. So I feel like this brand is pretty good. Okay, I like never pick up Old Navy, but I picked this up just because it was a big jumpsuit. I feel like these are doing pretty well. And again, it was just a bins price, so, and it's a size large and it's in excellent condition. I was actually gonna try it on and see if I liked it, but yeah, I feel like this will sell eventually. Okay, another blank NYC piece, which is weird because I like really don't find this brand a lot, but I found it twice. And it's just this animal print, little like kind of a bomber jacket, I would say. 
Okay, next I have an Adriana Papel dress. I really like this brand. Um, this is kind of a basic piece, just like a little black dress. Right, it hits like at the knee, and it's a size eight. I think that this might be an older style, but again, this is like classic, like black dress, so I feel like it'll sell eventually. Okay, this piece has a big stain, but I don't know. I was hoping I could get it out. So it's Athleta. And it has this really soft inside. It's this jacket. So very substantial piece, but you can see right by the zipper. If you can see that. Yeah. There's a stain, and it looks like it's pretty set in there. So I might try to, well, I'm definitely gonna try to stain treat this and see what happens, but I mean, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have picked it up just cause that stain looks pretty rough. So we'll see. Okay, last piece. Well, actually, there's one other thing after this I want to show. So this is airy, and this is just, this was an excellent condition, and it's kind of just one of these little throwover sweatshirts. Usually these kind of just, as people will bundle these kind of items, or, um, and they also like kind of sell pretty easily, these newer, because this is a newer tag. So we'll see how that does. Okay, and then there's one more thing I wanna show. The last item are these boots, and these are like equestrian um, riding boots, and they're kind of in rough condition. They need to be buffed out, but they say made in England, and then they say Marlboro, so I looked that up and these were selling around 100 to 150. That was the listed price on Poshmark. So, and then they're also a seven and a half. So I felt these were, would sell eventually. They definitely need, need some love. There's some creases, but yeah, I was excited about those. Okay, so that's everything I have for this bins thrift haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and also please subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me. Let me know in the comments what pieces were your favorite and which pieces you might not have picked up. I have new videos coming out every Monday and every Thursday. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.